people of Melbourne. My greetings and blessing to all of you.
ये हुर्सा कोड़े मगा जाइते मागलोले मेला अनिंगा हुर्सा कोड़े जाइते ओ मिलाग्री बी जाता है ते वो लोग आगे मागलोले ब्रिगी नालोले ब्रिगी दयन मेटा कॉन्ट्रीयन ते लोले ते का ते का दया को का हुर्सा को मागले बी मेल्टा अन मुझे ले बी चोड बहुत नाइंगा मुझे ले चोड़ा कैंसर जाला ते के थर्ड स्टेज जालोले ये फुर्सत को जायत पड़ता है मागी लें दिम गान रोजार कौन ये मिला गरी जाले ये फुर्सत ने आई के लम्बे सोगले मागने। We have seen a lot of blessings that have come not only on us on the entire community because of the miraculous cross that is here. I could write and say a lot of things about this place, but it is for each one of you to come and experience it. Son who met with an accident, a terrible accident, in which his brain had turned somersault. He was in coma in the hospital and on the third day someone brought father to the hospital to pray over him and when he came back to Beth Bethlehem he fell on this cross and he prayed to the cross to heal that boy and my son on the third day he opened his eyes he was unconscious for so many days and then when he opened his eyes he was only talking about the Bible and we couldn't tell uh, since he couldn't speak, there was no voice, there was a hole trachea, in the trachea. So he was making signs and we didn't know what signs he was making. He was actually telling us to open the Bible and read, do one reading. So we made him write it on our hands and we, he told us which reading. And it was the reading that says, the crippled man was brought through the roof to the, into the house when Jesus was praying. And when, after Jesus prayed, Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. So that was the reading he wanted and that is what he went on reading and then we started reading the Bible and that is how we came close to the Word and that is how we were brought close to the, to the Beth Bethlehem Society. And ever since I've, we've been coming, he got completely healed, he's totally healed now, he works, he's got married and uh, only due to prayers. Father takes care of a lot of people. You know there are a lot of people in this uh, in this, so this society. You know there are a lot of inmates, specially challenged that Father cares for, take care, takes care of. Uh, you know there are multiple um, cooks and staff, maids, cleaning people, uh, people that come to school. And Father welcomes everyone and anyone. And for all these people, you know food needs to be provided for stay, electricity. You know taking care maintenance of this full property it you know doesn't doesn't become cheap you know but yet you know father builds everything trusting in the lord we are in a situation where the entire world is under threat finances have become very difficult recession everywhere nevertheless our beth bethlehem community we take care of uh, aged people and or often people, boys and widows and mentally deranged sons. It's a very difficult, precarious situation that we face. Mentally is a disease that doesn't leave you. It's a prolonged disease. Only on drugs, they feel they get better. The moment you stop it, they're once again the same. I pray that you could hear my voice and may your hearts burn within you so that you could help us. Thank you so much.